Hi guys, this is Rishabh Kapoor from WebSoftTutorials.com. In this video guys, we will download and install the WordPress in our machine. So guys, firstly we need to go to Google.com. So I will go to Google.com. Now, I will write WordPress download. Now you can see this first link, it's WordPress.org slash uh, means forward slash download so you need to click on this uh, link it will take you to this wordpress.org website and in the right side you can see wordpress download 3.6.1 which is the current version of wordpress I mean this is the most recent version of the wordpress so you need to click on it I will click on it the download will begin in a moment so I will cancel the download because I have already uh, downloaded it in on my desktop so you can see this is the wordpress which I which is 3.6.1 now would, what we need to do firstly we need to go to our uh, guys I want to tell you you need WAMP server to use WordPress in your local machine if you don't know how to install and how to download WAMP server you need you can click on the video link which is appearing on the screen and after watching this video tutorial you will be able to download and install WAMP server so now you guys we will go to our uh, drive in which the WAMP server has been installed so we will go on, on to the WAMP server folder then we will go to www folder and in this uh, inside this www folder we will create a new folder and I will give it a name of WordPress underscore English so I will open this folder and I will copy this zip file inside this folder okay this is a zip file so firstly I will extract it here and then I will remove this file because I don't need it now uh, inside this WordPress folder all the files are here now what I will do I will cut this file from here and I will uh, move it to the root of this folder it's now I'll remove the WordPress folder because now all the files are inside this WordPress English folder now guys in uh, in the uh, next uh, next step what we will do we will go to localhost then PHP my admin and firstly we will create a database for the WordPress so I will give it a name of WordPress underscore ENG for the English it depends upon your choice for you want to give the name to the database I'm giving WordPress uh, uh, underscore ENG you can choose a different name so you need to click on this create button so you can see database WordPress underscore ENG has been created now what I what we will do now we will go to localhost again now we will go to our folder which is WordPress English which we have just created you need to click on it now you will see this uh, option if the files will be inside this folder so you will see this option you need to create a firstly you need to create a configuration file so you need to click a create a configuration file and then click on this let's go button now firstly we will write the uh, name of the database here it's wordpress underscore eng from my uh, from my database it can be different if you have taken different name so now after that username will be uh, root which is by default for the local host and I, have, I haven't set any password for the root uh, for my for my SQL for PHP my admin if you have any set any password then you need to write it here so my username will be root password then local database host will be remain same local host and table prefix will be remain same you need to click on this submit button then now you need to click on this run the install button click on it now you need to enter these details first will be the site title means what title you want to give to your website so I will give it a name of websofttutorials.com then uh, you need to choose a username and then password so you need to retype your password and then after that you need to enter your email address because accidentally if you will uh, lost your password then you can uh, use forgot password option to send resend this password to your email address so now you need to click on this install WordPress button you can see this message success WordPress has been installed now you need to click on this login because firstly we need to log in on the dashboard which is the back panel of the WordPress from which we will access all the website so we will enter the credentials here username and password 
Now I can see this is the dashboard means this is the back panel of the WordPress from which we will access all the website. So guys this was about how you can download and install WordPress on your machine. Guys in the next video I will give you introduction to this dashboard. So guys if you have any question you can go to my discussion forum or you can leave a comment below. So thanks for watching this video guys. Don't forget to subscribe my channel to get recent updates about my videos. Let's see in the next tutorial.